I mean, I couldn't even walk to my car in the dark for months after, you know, it happened. Fear lingering with Ashlyn Couch after her friends were stabbed to death in their off-campus home in Moscow, Idaho, a home where she too once lived. It crosses my mind more that that could have happened while I was there. And, you know, you never know, like, how long someone is watching your house. The sixth bedroom on King Road was hers. And now this morning, she's speaking out for the first time on camera since Kaylee Gonzalez, Madison Mogan, Zana Kernodal, and her boyfriend, Ethan Chapin, were murdered in November of 2022. Ashlyn initially signed the lease to live in the popular off-campus home, telling our station KXLY that she moved out in May of 2022 after graduating the semester before. But she stayed close with the girls, especially Maddie, sharing the last message she sent to her after getting an alert from the University of Idaho that there had been a suspected homicide. I texted like our group of friends and I just had said, has anyone heard from Maddie? And I remember like my last text message to her was like, are you okay? And um, I feel like right then and there, I kind of just knew that something was wrong. The man charged with their murders, Brian Koberger, a judge entering a not guilty plea on his behalf as his defense team says he was out driving that cold November night as he often did to hike or stargaze. But prosecutors allegedly linking Koberger to the heinous crimes through DNA left on the button strap of a knife sheath found underneath Maddie. You wish that you could just say goodbye and that's one thing that I just wish that I could do at least one more time is like, you know, just give her one last hug just to be able to say goodbye.